How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a proper step-by-step -step guide for how you can fulfill your orders on Shopify manually. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And as you guys can see from my screen here, uh, there's actually a written guide provided by Shopify themselves uh, on how you, how you can actually get to do this. So uh, there's no better way to do it properly than with this guide. So with all that said, let's begin. So the first thing that you guys want to do is you want to log into your Shopify account. So this one's pretty straightforward. You just go to the Shopify login page and enter your credentials to log into Shopify. And this will normally take you to your admin dashboard where we'll be doing the next steps. So once you're logged in, you'll be on the Shopify admin dashboard. And on the left hand side menu, there's uh, a tab that says orders. So what you want to do is click on orders uh, and this will give you access to uh, all of the orders that you have um, registered to your Shopify account. Now from here, you actually get the option to view unfulfilled orders. So in the orders sec uh, section, uh, you want to look for the entries that are um, labeled <clears throat> or rather have the status unfulfilled. So once you find them, simply uh, click on the order that you want to fulfill and get going. So the next step is to confirm the uh, product availability. And to do so is quite simple. Basically, you just go to uh, your products page and see um, which products you have at hand um, are in stock. And yeah, basically, you just verify that you have the required items in stock. And if any of the items are out of stock, uh, you may need to update the customer about the delay or the cancel of the order. Next thing that you need to do is mark the items as fulfilled. So in the order details, you'll find a button that says mark as fulfilled. So if the conditions are met, basically just click on it. And uh, you're anyway, we're going to click on it to indicate that you're preparing the order for shipment. And the following steps will be entering the tracking information. Now, only if this is applicable. Now, if you have uh, the tracking information, enter it in the order details. So Shopify allows you to add the carrier, tracking number, and any additional notes uh, related to shipping. And when you do so, and everything is in order, you should be ready for uh, the next couple of steps, being uh, shipping labels. So what we're going to do next is we're going to be generating shipping labels. But yeah, if you haven't already, um, consider doing so uh, through uh, Shopify or your preferred shipping service. Uh, this actually, uh, this feature actually helps better with tracking, so you're able to uh, keep an eye and be informed about uh, where everything is. So we're going to attach a shipping label to the package for easy identification by the carrier. And the last step is to uh, notify the customer. Basically, just uh, communicate the order fulfillment to them. And you can do this by sending a shipping confirmation email through Shopify. And with this, you can include any re relevant tracking information and an estimated delivery date if possible. Now, a couple of additional tips to um, keep in mind are the following. So number one, <clears throat> if your fulfillment, uh, fulfillment process involves uh, multiple locations, uh, double check that the items are being shipped from the correct location. Now, this is to avoid any mishaps that may happen uh, during shipping. Now, number two, uh, familiarize yourself with any third-party apps or integrations you may be using for shipping and fulfillment to streamline the process. So this is just to help with uh, management and to help track everything. So that assumes the uh, basic order fulfillment process. So let's uh, do a deep dive onto the actual steps. <clears throat> And I should mention that the steps shown here will apply to all platforms being at, uh, being desktop, iPhone, and Android. So I'll be going over desktop first. Like I said, go to Shopify, log in as an admin, to the dashboard, go to orders, and it would actually look a little something like this. Oh, okay, I, I'm actually not logged in, so I don't think it's going to show me, but whatever. So yeah, go to orders and click click the order number of an unfulfilled order. And it even says so here, it reads that if you're using multiple locations and you, uh, if you want to change the location that you're fulfilling your order from, then click on the uh, three commas, these commas, on the fulfillment card, and then select change location. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing these are the three ellipses, but these commas for some reason. So select the location that you want to use, click on save, and the location can only be changed for uh, orders that require shipping, not local delivery 
or pickup orders. So um, once that's done, you're ready for step four. Uh, you can either choose uh, one of the two. So if you're using uh, Shopify shipping to buy a shipping label for your order, then so, uh, select uh, create shipping label. So this one's already integrated into Shopify, so you should be good there. Now, if you're using a different um, platform, a carrier other than Shopify shipping, then click fulfill items and enter the uh, tracking number from your shipping provider. Now, Shopify might recognize your tracking number format and uh, choose a shipping carrier for you. So if there's no carrier uh, or if the wrong carrier was chosen, then select your shipping carrier from uh, the shipping carrier drop down menu. So the tracking URL is displayed um, in the customer's shipping confirmation and uh, shipping update emails. And step five, this one's also optional, is to uh, basically let them know. So to send them emails. So to send a notification to the email, uh, notification email rather, to the customer right away. So this gives them um, an idea of uh, where their order is. So set, uh, to do so, select send shipment details to your customer now. And everything here should be automated. You guys can have like a template set up uh, with coding variables in, uh, in the mix. So um, it will input the date, the item, as well as the estimated time for the thing that they ordered to arrive at their doorstep. And yeah, this option is only available only if you have an email address for your customer on file. But if you don't, then this would not be uh, an option. So once you're past all of that and everything seems to be in order, you want to click on fulfill items to uh, mark the order as fulfilled. And if you're using um, Shopify shipping, then select uh, shipping service and then click buy shipping label. So all of these um, uh, steps that I mentioned before should also apply to the other platforms being iPhone and Android, as you guys can see here. <clears throat> now this is for um, doing uh, your own orders manually. As for doing a uh, part of an order manually, it's basically the same step, but the only difference is um, from the fulfillment page, you get to change the number of products that you want to fulfill for each uh, line item in the item selection. So there's more uh, flexibility here when it comes to uh, what you want to do for a specific number of items or products um, on your store. And from there on out, you basically just follow the same steps uh, select the shipping method under the uh, shipping service section, blah, blah, blah. Send the shipping details to your customer and uh, buy, <clears throat> click buy shipping label. And yeah, that should be good to go. So yeah, hopefully um, you guys learned something from this video on how you can uh, fulfill your own orders on Shopify manually. And if it did, if this video helped you guys out, <clears throat> be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guys like these daily. So if you want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.